You see a tall, striking woman. She stands staring at the walls of the tavern without seeing them, her hands slowly curling into fists and unclenching. When she sees you, her eyes dart across your clothing and gear, and then back to your eyes. A sardonic smile crosses her face, and she looks away again. Looking for something, Cutter? She says, still not looking at you. I understand you're the next person I'm to talk to about this key. About the key, hmm? She arches an eyebrow at you. You want to know what you have to do for it, don't you? It's easy enough, fiend. Interested? Of course you are. You've come to talk to me about it. Are you ready to listen? I guess is the real question. All right, tell me what I have to do. My journal. There are two men here named Crumble Punch and Kester. Crumble Punch is the smith. Kester is the distiller. They both owe me a lot of money. One of them owes me. Uh, one of them owes the other as well, though, and so neither of them is paying me. They're arguing about an inheritance. Get me the legacies they're holding on to. I can bargain with them very effectively then. Failing that, get them to solve their problems with each other, or kill them, and I'll give you the second part of the key. Okay. Hmm. So we're basically sent to collect a debt. Well, our character is not normally the kind of person who would uh, want to do that. I think he thinks this work is quite below him. Hmm. I think he'll express hesitancy to do it. Yeah, so we say no, but if we can always come back. Updated my journal. And do it. Yeah. Well, it looks like we got the quest anyway. Hmm. <coughs> well, I don't think he wants to do this. And he's going to start walking away and then realize, well, how else is he going to get into the get to see the diva if he needs five parts of key. No, maybe later. Let's find out more about this diva and if there are any other ways of getting there. Done. I think that's what uh, what our character should do. Let's get to it. And it's quite late, or quite early, depending on which way you want to look at it. 3.48 a.m. But our character is fine with that. The streets are still quite busy. It's almost as if this place doesn't really sleep. Done. Alright, so we were told to go talk to the administrative office, which is up at the northern side of Inner Cursed. If that's what this right. part of the city is called. I'm gone. So let's go up there. Some merchants? Actually, let's talk to the merchant. See a merchant. There is nothing remarkable about him. He smells and nods at your approach. Right, what do you carry? Uh, gauntlets and axes. The only thing better than beating someone up to a pulp with your own hands is slicing it into quivering pieces. Uh, well, we could buy some more charms. But I don't think we will. We seem to be pretty well stocked. But it's good to know that we can come back here. Who's this carry person? Done. Yeah, I think we're gonna just Done. keep going. Siabha and Cursed Administration. Let's talk to this guy. He seems to be the the local boss. Get out of the way, Morton. You see a middle-aged man wearing fine clothes. He gives you a bored look as you approach. I'm looking for Dave. I've been told he's in Cursed. You must mean Trias. Yes, he's here. He's in the prison, as a matter of fact. Why do you want to see him? Uh, yeah, do I need a reason? Yes, you do. Now, why do you want to see Trias? Well, it's a private matter. Nothing concerning Trias is private. Why do you want to see him? I have some questions that only he can answer. He gazes at you steadily for a while. I see. Well, no one is allowed to see Trias without permission from Tovis Gilaf. He smiles at you. And there's no one... And no one sees Trovis unless he sends for them. 
I suggest you leave. Okay, surely you can get me into see Tovis. Yes, but I have no intention of allowing you entry unless Tovis sends for you. Now leave. Hmm. I can always take you and just walk in to see him? No, I don't think we'd say that. This is important. There must be some way I can get in to see Tovis. He shakes his head. The only way through that door is if Tovis sends for you, or I let you in. Tovis did not send for you, and I have no intention of letting you in myself. Unless, of course, you can do something important for me. Hmm, I can't think of anything I want from you. Okay. Interesting. What about you over here? What's your story? Uh, I am a busy woman. Do not detain me long. Just have some questions. I would really love to stay and chat with such a fine specimen, but I'm afraid duty calls. You do understand, don't you? Of course you do. Your room can't get in. Okay. So... Hmm. There's no clear way to get in to see Tovis. And if that's the case, then we might have to resort to uh, finding this key. Or maybe we need to get this key together and then also see Tovis. Who knows? You see a pretty young woman. We'll talk to her and see if uh, she has any way of getting in there. You see a pretty young woman. Her face is flushed and bruised, her hair in disarray. Although her clothes are nice, they are torn in several places. She's moving through the streets warily, glancing her shoulder uh, over her shoulder occasionally. She dumps at your greeting, whips around to face you. As her eyes travel along your scars, a look of concern crosses her face. Hello, Cutter. I'm Kiri. What can I do for you? What's wrong? There are people here who don't like me. I try to avoid them whenever possible. Uh, I'm a harlot. I'm young, pretty, and good at what I do. She smiles. The other girls said I was taking business away from them, so they beat me up and told me to show my face around, not show my face around here anymore. They said they'd make sure I wasn't pretty anymore if they caught me here. And you came back. I came for the jink. What else? I can't leave the setup elsewhere without jink, and I can't earn jink if I'm not here. I'm pretty much trapped. I'd do anything if I could get my hands on some decent jink. Uh, okay, the only word is anything. She looks you over carefully before answering. Sure, Cutter, anything. If the price is right. You got something in mind? Nope. Updated my journal. Uh, maybe I'll have use for her, though. Maybe. Maybe there will be a quest that involves her. Or involves setting her up with someone, I guess is the implication? I don't know. We'll move on. And Isius. See a sallow skinned Gith Yankee, thin of face and mean of eye, stalking deliberately. And you can detect he's enraged. I have a few questions for you. Uh, we're here to help a Gith Yankee. What draws him here away from the song of blood woven by his brothers? The Gith Yankee's eyes narrow. I've cast aside the hatred I bore for your people. I've risen above the petty feud between our two races. For this they exiled me, but in my heart I have bested them. Can you say the same? All right, forget this, we're leaving. This doesn't help us. Okay. Uh, another citizen just kind of came out of nowhere there. I guess... I'm gone. Hmm. I guess... Our character will take a look around some of the businesses, or buildings here. And if that doesn't Done. yield anything useful, then, uh, then we'll go back to the bar and agree to do that task. That oh, was an interesting sound. Let's talk to guard here. No? I like to see a person in charge. What, the burger? He's in the administration building. Good, good luck uh, getting to him, though. He doesn't see anyone these days. 
This mine's definitely going someplace else. All right, then there's really no reason to talk to these guards. They all say the same thing. And it really doesn't look as though there is much to see here. I guess these are all, all right. supposed to be beds. <coughs> oh no, okay, they look like boxes to me, but I can see that these are supposed to be uh, bunk beds, I think. With one in the big hole. Alright, nothing to see here. But these two buildings. Right. A lot of guards around here. Hmm, they're having a little fight. Or the, they're making animals fight. That is not something our character is too happy to see, but he's not going to do anything about it. I don't think. They smirk, cutting you off before you can greet them. I don't want to hear it, not a word. Go find some other saw to interrogate, will you? Alright. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much to be done there. Let's see about this distillery. In we go. Kester. See a lean man with uh, deeply tan skin and piercing green eyes. Welcome to the Malacco Brothers Distillery, he cries, as he could think of no one would rather as if he could think of no one he'd rather see than you. What can I do for you today? <coughs> Excuse me, lots of coughing today. Have you heard anything about a diva in this town? What? Incursed? Friend, if you've been incursed long enough, you already know there's no diva here. Try the Fortitude or some other other towns on the other side of the Great Ring. Now what, do, do you want to buy something? Uh, sure. Let's see what he's got. Mm, remove Curse might be interesting. Cone of Cold? Actually, that might be useful. Not really willing to spend the money at the moment, though. Done. Who knows if it's going to be useful. Let's go. Uh, so maybe we'll get to know him just a little bit better before <coughs> before going back and accepting that quest. What is this place? It's a distillery. So all sorts of things here, from drink to other mixtures, like charms and such. All right, and that leads back to shop menu. Who are you? I am Kester, uh, proprietor and half owner of the Malacca Brothers Distillery. Can I sell you something? Half owner? Yes, indeed. My brother owns a part interest here, so I don't know that I'd call it an interest, seeing as he spends so much time caring uh, about it. Listen, do you want to buy something? What can you tell me about your brother? His name is. Crumple Punch. He's the blacksmith here in town, and he's doing his best to make sure my business doesn't succeed. And why am I telling this? You're a total stranger. I don't know. Farewell. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of an idea of what's going on here. Let's go talk to... All right. The blacksmith. Okay. And we've been everywhere else. I think we were walking around the gate to Carcery without realizing it. It was a funny little sculpture. <coughs> Let's look at the world map. Where are we exactly? Okay, so this is Sigil. This is the maze. And this is where we are now. Cursed. There are a few other places we can get to, apparently. Uh, so the blacksmith is there. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know why I'm coughing so much all of a sudden. So let's visit the blacksmith. And uh, then return to the bar. Because I think at that point we'll have seen all the main places. Crumple Punch. This sour-looking, burly man glares at you as to not interrupt his work. 
as you interrupt his work. He seems a little slow, but earnest, not as poisonous as others in this town. Aye, what do you want? Um, have you heard anything about a diva here? A what? Diva? Ain't that one of the angel things? No, we ain't got one here. He pauses. Do you want something to me? Um, no. Well, no. Don't think so. Let's ask about yourself. Except we can't. Okay. We'll just leave. I think. Uh, let's actually get Anna to enter stealth mode and take a look in that chest, because that might be the thing that we want to uh, steal for that other person. I think the nameless one is going to be a little bit um, is going to grudgingly take on this task. Who I am. Play the shadows. Why do you leave? Why not? Motley axe, magic punch daggers. We're not going to take any of that. Although it was trapped. Oops. Did you see that? Um. Well. That went pretty badly. Well, there's a legacy. That was bad. But, that's what happened. I don't think I'm gonna reload in this case. We'll uh, take items. All right. Because he doesn't need them anymore, I guess. What's this thing? What are these things? Uh, has not been identified. I suppose we can do that. Axe of the Jester. Hmm. Chaos Matter. The most unstable and pre unpredictable elements in the planes. Okay, and a whole bunch of owners who died mysterious ways, I suppose. And we don't exactly know what this does. What about these magic punch daggers? Two to eight piercing. One to four piercing. I think we'll let Anna keep whatever she's got now. And we'll just hold on to what we got here. Oops. Yeah, well, let's get back in here. Done. And, I guess, turn in that quest. Because what's done is done. All right. I mean, we just wanted to take a look around and he started uh, attacking us. He saw that we were looking around and attacked us. At that point, Done. it was kind of... Kind of kind of self-defense, even though we were stealing. Anyway. What is it I have to do? Alright. I have Krempel's Punch's Legacy. Uh, are you going to give it to me? This will make sure Krempel Punch will find a way to pay me. Uh, well, he's dead, but we're not going to tell her that. Here you go. She tucks the legacy away in a pouch and her belt and uh, smirks evilly. Do you want a second part of the key now? Yes, tell me. She concentrates for a moment and her voice takes on another deeper tone as she tones these words. Here their prison ordained in utter darkness. She pauses and speaks normally. For a third part of the key, go talk to Nabat over there, she yawns mightily. I'm exhausted. Take this and then leave me alone for a time. I need to think about my next step here. Farewell. In no I feel stronger. Oops. I have become stronger. Okay. Uh, Scroll of Abyssal Fury. I guess we'll copy that. It's a level 9 spell. But we'll use it eventually. Uh, so yeah, it's a powerful spell. 
planar portal beneath a specified victim and drags him down into the abyss. Hmm. The so victim will suffer 5d10 points of damage as he suffers multiple delayed attacks and slashes from all angles. Uh, that's one of the outcomes? Hmm. Okay, so the outcomes are if they make a saving throw, get spit out of the abyssal portal in one piece, but then they get a whole bunch of things happening, slashes and cuts and all that. And as I fail the saving throw, is an instant death. Well, it's in my spell book. We're not going to shy away from evil sounding spells like that. Who's the next person we're going to talk to? Nemat. Possibly down here then? Because we've seen the other corners of the bar. Yeah, Nemat. 